Welcome back everyone from an utterly cold and rainy Kigali today. I mean, normally we only show you when it's super sunny, Kigali is always nice, always pretty. It's still very pretty today, it's just pretty and wet and cold. So that doesn't stop us from creating content for you. And today we actually have a very interesting topic, something that has been requested a lot. And that is, what is the easiest way to create a passive income in real estate in Rwanda. So this is probably half of the, the sales leads that we get want to, to create passive income and uh, if you're not actually living in Kigali it can be a bit tricky right because you need to buy furniture, you need to find someone to manage the place for you, you need to find the right apartment, um, all these kind of things uh, that you need to keep in mind. So. This video is all about showing you how, what's the easiest way of doing that. And the way is a furnished apartment that is for sale. It doesn't happen very often that these guys, things come on the market, but today's your lucky day. There is one coming up, a beautiful apartment, fully furnished at a very reasonable price in a property that has been, um, sorry, I need to quickly focus on the roads here. Um, in the property, that is professionally managed so kind of the ideal setup we'll take you there it's in Kibagabaga we'll give you the full tour we'll tell you how it works we'll tell you how you can buy it and we can tell you how you can start making a passive income so enjoy the ride I know a lot of people actually do enjoy the parts of the videos where we just show Kigali uh, and the roads we are in Nyarachrama right now going up the steep hill and um, for those of you who haven't been to Rwanda, everything is everywhere steep hills. So it's a, it's a very hilly uh, city. Today, actually, a good uh, investment suggestion would also be come to Kigali and sell umbrellas. It's been so rainy. It's really, you can see normally there's people on the road everywhere. <laughs> completely, completely clear. Nobody here today. But let's, uh, let's focus on journey and uh, see you at Syrian Crest. <laughs> so the property we're going to has a total of 24 units. It has a pool, everything you need of course, and it's located in Kibagabaga. So there's uh, some people on YouTube that say Kibagabaga is the Beverly Hills of uh, Kigali. Um, I think beauty wise it really is. The size of the houses and <laughs> it's not as, as big. It, there's a lot of uh, standalone houses, um, which is getting increasingly rare in Rwanda. Beautiful old houses, a lot of them are renovated in a very nice way. It's an absolutely lovely neighborhood to live in. It gives you a lot of opportunity to walk at night. It's quiet. As always in Kigali, it's super safe. So this is the main road now that we're on that connects Nyarutarama to Kibagabaga and that hill that you see over there, the houses, that is Kibagabaga. Okay, sharp left, up the hill, almost the final descent, I sent to the thing and just look how green everything is. But even though the rain does not look great on pictures, what looks great is how green everything is, literally a few hours after. Okay, we have made it into the apartment. We didn't film outside because we were just running through the rain from the parking into the apartment. And here we are. So as I mentioned, the easiest way to start making a passive income on rental properties in Rwanda is to buy a furnished apartment. As I mentioned, they're not coming to the market very often, but here, we have one, it's a two bedroom uh, unit, both bedrooms en suite, so perfect for rentals. And there's an extra um, guest, uh, guest toilet, which is used for different purposes, as you'll see uh, at the moment. But for you, you can of course do what you want with it. So you have seen us come in from that door, uh, corridor, um, first bedroom there, then a very nice balcony. The view is amazing. We'll show you that in a second. But then you get into the living and dining area. 
so it is a unique design it has a special color on the wall on a rainy day like this it's really nice and cozy in here so you can see you can hear the rain from outside you have these warm colors everywhere you have warm lights which is not so common in Rwanda a lot of the lights are cold and then you have the kitchen the sink um, the fridge not all, everything most of the electronics are not included but they're quite easy to buy but what it would be included for example for you is this couch and it's quite comfortable super comfortable actually um so it's really plug and play if you buy this you can have us take professional pictures of the outfit put it on airbnb and start generating an income and your guests for Airbnb would sleep in these rooms, this and that. But first, let me quickly show you. This is the guest bathroom, which is used as storage right now, because the storage room is actually used for access to the amazing view, which we'll get to. Bedroom number one is right here. Queen size bed, um, built in wardrobes that of course come with the property. Uh, stands there with the TV. The TVs are not included, but they, they're easy enough to buy. Um, we're happy to help you with that, actually. Um, windows, of course, out. This is uh, facing Bumbogo. You have mosquito nets in here so that you can open the windows at night without getting mosquitoes, which is always very comfortable. You have shower with a walk-in shower, actually. Uh, rainfall shower over there and handheld toilet sink everything that you need in a bathroom as always so before we get to the other bathroom let me show you the amazing view that you can find uh, here this is a room where you put your uh, washing machine um, but then there's a balcony here and look at this view I mean it's it's much nicer even nicer when it's sunny but even in the rain, you can actually see how the clouds are coming through the valley. Over there is Kigali city center in the distance. Um, as I said, we're in um, Kibagawaga, the convention center parliament over there. And then, yeah, you have a 180 degrees view. And um, you have some very positive people, uh, neighbors with positive mindset because it's been literally raining all day. And we just noticed someone is trying to dry their clothes down there on the drying line so good luck to them i'm not sure how successful this is going to be um so how do you buy this property um the well quickly corridor uh, here is a little workstation that the current owners have you could also put just flowers or something here um so a very multi-purpose room um, so before we go in here, how before we go in here, actually the most important part we almost forget. If you like this video so far, if you want to hear more about uh, Randa, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel; it helps a lot. Any questions, put it in the comments. Now I'll show you this room, and then I'll tell you how to buy, how you can buy this apartment, even as a foreigner. So, bedroom number two is also ensuite with bathroom number three, counting in the guest bathroom. Same walk-in shower. Um, sink, toilet, towel racks, everything that you need. Um, and then the bedroom. Again, a queen size bed comes with the same built in wardrobes as over there. There are mosquito nets installed here, but the current owners actually just fixed um, extra mosquito nets on the windows in the bathroom. They didn't have mosquito nets before. Now they do, and it's included in the price. So, lucky you as the buyer but how do you actually buy this property so foreigners in Rwanda can buy properties for investment purposes you can also buy one as your residence um, we are happy to help you throughout the entire process so company registration it all sounds terrifying in Rwanda it is super easy it's literally a matter of, of a few days to get everything uh, settled up there's no hiccups normally in the process and then you get the title of this apartment in your name or in your company's name whatever you prefer and of course as vibe house we are there throughout the process we'll help you with that and um, then we can also help you find tenants we're happy to manage 
uh, the property for you for the conditions we can discuss that you'll send us an email description you find that in the description and um, so it is really let's go into the uh, I'm standing in the corridor like like ordered and not collected as we say in German um, so yeah this is really a very easy way to start your first real estate investment in Rwanda it's a very easy way to start uh, making passive income here we have all the systems in place from accounting to company registration and and so on so if you like this unit do get in touch with us i promised you the price the price is in the description the reason why we don't say it in the videos is because sometimes you want to negotiate a discount uh, or something and um, then we can't update the price if i say it now in the description we can update it so it's actually working in your favor i think i have said it all so let's wrap it up here and if you like it get in touch with us thank you